welcome today we are going to learn about the life processes so what is meant by life process so the essential activities which are necessary to maintain and continue life of any organism living organism is known as life process whether it is an animal or a plant so the living organism which maintain certain so these are the activities uh, which are maintained by the animal or a plant to maintain and continue the life so such a process are known as a life processes especially nutrition respiration transportation excretion and reproduction so these are the vital processes which are required for any living organism to continue their life without taking food or without taking oxygen organisms do not live so the, that's why these processes are known as life processes okay next so among life processes nutrition is one of the important life process so what is meant by nutrition so it is a process by which all living organisms take food and utilize it to get energy so why why do organisms take food to get energy to do any activity organisms require energy to get that energy the organisms or the living organisms takes food so that process is known as nutrition the process by which all living organisms so here you have to remember that living organisms means plants and animals okay so depending upon the mode the nutrition is divided into two types so how they take the food depending on that nutrition is divided into two types autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition so when we classify the nutrition so it is divided into the modes of nutrition divided into two types autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition so autotrophic nutrition is again divided into two types that is photoautotrophic and chemoautotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition is divided into three types so saprophytic nutrition parasitic nutrition and holozoic nutrition okay let us learn one by one in detail so first one is uh, autotrophic nutrition so here auto means self trophic means nourishment so in this type of nutrition the organisms organisms synthesize their own food material from simple inorganic substances so such type of nutrition is known as auto auto means self trophic means uh, nourishment so this type of nutrition is also divided into two types so photo autotrophic nutrition and chemo autotrophic nutrition in this type of nutrition organisms synthesize their food materials using sunlight as a source of energy and the process by which they synthesize food materials is known as photosynthesis so examples are all green plants and blue green algae so all green plants are photo autotrophic because they contain a certain pigment which is known as chlorophyll due to the presence of chlorophyll the plants are able to synthesize their own food material if chlorophyll is not present such plants cannot synthesize food materials okay so only the green plants can synthesize their own food material by a process known as photosynthesis photo means light so the light consists of a small pockets of energy which is known as photon so that energy is grabbed by the chlorophyll molecules and convert the carbon dioxide into carbohydrate so that process is known as photosynthesis photosynthesis requires chlorophyll carbon dioxide water and sunlight these four 
factors are responsible for the photosynthesis. So, the equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O carbon dioxide and water molecules combine together and in the presence of light sunlight and chlorophyll are converted into carbohydrate that is glucose molecule and they liberate oxygen as a end product. So, here oxygen is formed from the water molecule, but not the carbon dioxide. So, this was proved by using the isotopic oxygen. The reaction, the splitting of water molecules and liberation of uh, oxygen is known as Hill reaction or photochemical reaction or a light reaction. Okay. You have to remember the splitting of splitting of water gives oxygen and fixation of carbon dioxide gives to carbohydrate that is the glucose molecule. So, the plants use some carbohydrates for the vital activities and remaining carbohydrate or the glucose is stored in the form of a starch. Next, chemoautotrophic nutrition. Chemo means chemical, auto means self and trophic means nourishment. So, in this type of nutrition, so the animals or the living organisms synthesize their own food material from the inorganic chemical reaction. So, example are the sulfur bacteria and the iron bacteria. The sulfur bacteria uses hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide and the oxygen and forms carbohydrate and water molecule and they liberate inorganic sulfur. So, this is the chemoautotrophic nutrition. So, you have to remember that in autotrophic reaction water molecules and carbon dioxide are used to, synth to synthesize carbohydrate in the presence of light and chlorophyll, but here in chemoautotrophic the inorganic chemicals combine to form carbohydrate. So, here light is not required and chlorophyll is not required that is why this type of nutrition is known as chemoautotrophic type of nutrition. Next, the process of photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast. Photosynthesis occurs in, in the chloroplast. These chloroplasts are present in the leaves and stem also, but the number of chloroplasts are more in leaf, but le less in stem region. So, this is the chloroplast. So, chloroplast is a double membrane structure. So, this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane. So, the inside of the chloroplast uh, is divided into two parts grana and the stroma part. So, the green color one is the grana. So, the coin like structures present in the stroma. So, this is the cytoplasm or the stroma. So, the coin like structures are known as thylakoids. Thylakoids are arranged one above the other in the form of a stack and this stack is known as grana. Okay. So, single one is known as thylakoid and a group of thylakoids forms a grana and uh, grana are interlinked by lamella. So, these are the lamellae. So, these are the lamellae which interlink the grana. Okay. Next, so this is the lumen of the thylakoid, the yellow color one is the lumen of the thylakoid region and this is the stroma. So, in the thylakoid light reaction occurs and in stroma dark reaction of photosynthesis occurs. So, this, this is the DNA of the chloroplast. So, DNA chloroplast DNA is present that is the, the chloroplast have the capacity to reproduce themselves. Okay. Next. So, the process of photosynthesis involves three steps. The first one is absorption of light energy by the chlorophyll. So, light energy means photons. Okay. Next, splitting of water molecules to form oxygen 
and proton and electrons. So, this reaction is known as photochemical reaction because this reaction splitting of water molecule occurs in the presence of uh, photons that is in the presence of uh, light. So, that is why this is known as a light reaction. So, splitting of water is a part of a light reaction. Next third step is the fixation of carbon dioxide to form the carbohydrate or the glucose. This reaction is also known as carbon reaction or dark reaction. So, the dark reaction mean does not mean that it occurs in the dark. It means it does not requires light. Okay. It does not mean that it occurs in the night time, it occurs during the day time, but it does not require light, light. So, dark reaction depends upon the light reaction. So, it utilizes the energy produced during the light reaction and fix the carbon dioxide to form the carbohydrate. So, light reaction. So, light reaction occurs in the thylakoid already mentioned that uh, thylakoid is a coin like structure present in the stroma of the chloroplast. So, it thylakoid traps the light energy and converts it to chemical energy. So, the chemical form of energy in the living organism is uh, ATP, ATP is also known as currency of the cell. So, and also NADPH. So, that is why these are known as chemical energy. So, during, during light reaction water is hydrolyzed to form hydrogen and oxygen. So, hydrolysis of water occurs in the presence of light that is why the hydrolysis of water is known as photolysis. You have to remember this one because it is very important in the examination uh, you may be asked that uh, the hydrolysis of water in chloroplast is known as uh, photolysis. Okay. Next, so the protons and electrons uh, which are formed during the photolysis of water are used to generate the energy molecules, chemical energy molecules that the, those are ATP and NADPH. So, these uh, energy molecules are utilized uh, to fix the carbon dioxide into carb carbohydrates which occurs in the dark reaction. So, this is a uh, dark reaction is the second phase of photosynthesis. It is also known as carbon reaction. So, this reaction is so the all the reactions involved in the conversion of carb carbon dioxide into carbohydrate are discovered by Kelvin that is why this cycle is known as Kelvin cycle or this is also known as C 3 cycle because the first formed carbon is a PGA phosphoglyceric acid. So, it is a 3 carbon compound. So, the light reaction and dark reaction do not occur immediately one after the other after occurrence of light reaction dark reaction does not uh, takes place immediately, it may takes uh, some time. Example in desert plants uh, or C4 or camp plants uh, fixation of uh, carbon dioxide that is intake of carbon dioxide uh, takes place during the night time as the stomata open during the night time in the desert plants. So, intake of carbon dioxide occurs during night time only in desert plants all the remaining plants. Uh, photoactive plants intake of carbon dioxide occurs during the day. So, desert plants are or camphor plants are the exceptions. So, formation of ATP and NADPH molecules occur during the daytime and these molecules are utilized by the carbon dioxide to form the carbohydrates.